Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel, Grumman Pilots, serving the Grumman Pilots Association, your GPA. Here's a quick little tip. If, you, if you've always wondered how hard it is to put that cotter pin in after annual on, on this nut on the bottom of the fork, well, well, our solution to that problem was we drilled two holes in our steel I-beam using an old torque tube as a guide. We bolt it to the steel with two 3 8 inch bolts, and then we're working upside down. That way, when we get the cotter pin, when we get the uh, tension right, then we can see really well what we're doing. Then we just bring the fairing back up and bolt it all into place. It saves a lot of time and frustration laying on your back looking up through a safety mirror. So if you've got a piece of steel in your uh, hanger that you can use, just drill two holes in it. Mount your, torque, your, mount your nose strut, and away you go. We hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching. Here's a little tip. Before you put the cotter pin in, once you've got it to the first um, setting you like between 14 and 22 pounds, cycle the fork back and forth a couple of times, left and right. And what you'll see is you'll see grease that comes wedging out from the friction. Then recheck your tension. You may have to tighten the nut as we did. And then put the cotter pin in. And the cotter pin goes in backwards like this. So this is the aft section of the airplane. And over this end is forward. And the reason for that is if you're taxiing through grass and you don't have a wheel pamp, grass can supposedly catch that cotter pin, straighten it out, and then it can vibrate loose. Highly unlikely, but it probably happened. So again, put your cotter pin in like that. Cycle it a few times, and you'll have a... Um, uh, proper nose tension and no wheel shimmy when you go fly your Grumman. We hope this little tip is found useful.